सो टुडे वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद अवर सेकेंड पोर्शन ऑफ फंक्शन एंड इट्स इम्प्लीमेंटेशन एंड वी विल सी हाउ दिस फंक्शन इज एक्चुअली इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन एनी प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज सो एज पर माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई वॉज एक्चुअली यूजिंग सी प्लस प्लस लैंग्वेज टू इम्प्लीमेंट दिस फंक्शन टूडे again we will be using c++ as my vehicle language to implement this function and we will be seeing accordingly uh, the different portion uh, that is the function call followed by function definition and function uh, prototype declaration and how it is being used in uh, programming language and we will also see uh, different aspects of uh, or the different uh, syntax right different syntax of how a function is being implemented in a program now for the time being let us consider that uh, we want to add two number right we want to add two number uh, one uh, value we are taking in a variable say suppose a another uh, value we are taking in a variable say suppose b now we will see uh, that how these two values are being added right so we will see over here and let's see in our previous lecture we learned about what is function why it is actually implemented in programming language along with uh, the parts of function like uh, function prototype declaration function definition along with function call now using a program we will uh, learn or we will we will actually see how this three are being implemented in a programming language and what is actually function definition function prototype declaration and function call so we will be using c++ as our vehicle language now every one of us know that uh, we need something called our hash include io stream dot h hash include conai dot h that is preprocessor directives along with a header file. So we are actually using over here. But in some compiler, in some compiler like this dev c plus plus, we don't use actually dot h. Instead of dot h, we use this line that is using namespace std. So you don't have to worry about this using namespace uh, std. Just uh, focus on uh, the portion of the function that I'm going to implement in this program, right? Now, for the timing, let us consider we are actually implementing a function that will add uh, the values of two number. That means we have one value that is four, another value that is five, and we will be adding four and five uh, and produce or after computation, we will be producing the result to the user right so the name of our function will be add right so it will be int add int x and int y right this is known as my proto type declaration this is known as my function prototype declaration now what actually prototype declaration is used for now let let us consider that we we have main function each and every program uh, have main function where from the actual execution starts right now we are actually informing or we are giving a prior intimation to the compiler that in future there will be a function with this name that is add will be there and this add have some task initiated by the user right this add have some task initiated by the user as a result of which you don't have to worry i'm telling the compiler you don't have to worry there will be a function add in the near future and their task is being already assigned and i have already implemented the task right so this is the prior intimation to the compiler that a function with the name call add is going to be called or implemented right so that 
compiler doesn't get confused about if I give something like add if I give something an unknown variable name the compiler actually uh, ask me what is, what is the use of this uh, add or what is the use of the variable name or whatever maybe so it doesn't get confused for that I'm giving the prototype declaration right now while I'm taking the class I have already mentioned you the syntax that the syntax of uh, a prototype declaration is my return type my return type space my function name my function name right my function name along with the parameters right like this along with the parameters this is how actually I have defined this line okay this line now int will be treated over here as return type this return type is my int it can be float double care whatever may be depending upon my choice depending upon my necessity right the name of the function is this name of the function is my add right and the parameters is integer x followed by integer y right you can see i have given two parameters one integer x another one integer y there can be more than two parameters there can be with no parameters there can be only single parameter that means what I mean to say is that it can be like uh, any function name say if you and c one and it can be int uh, x only right it can be any function uh, with uh, with no parameter like uh, if you and c one and no parameter like it, it, it might be it might be okay so for the time being let us consider we are actually adding two values right we are taking two values either four or five and we are actually adding two values right now what I mean to say is that once we are actually taking uh, two values that is four and five now this four and this 5 is actually integer value not a decimal value so integer value can be a whole number that is 4 5 6 7 8 followed by 9 and whatever maybe but it can't be 4.83 or it can't be 5.63 like this because if i if i allows you to take only integer value then it will be taking 4 only it will be taking 5 only not 4.83 not 5.83 because 5.83 is not allowed because integer can take only whole number right so I am actually I am actually allowing only integer value that is int x and int y right so parameters actually uh, describes you what the value you are allowing as an input to that particular function right now there is a process called input and output okay so once you take input once you take input as your uh, in your system once you take input in your system there will be 4 and 5 and you compute that so 4, four, uh, four plus 5 it will be 9 so similarly when you compute 9 and you give 9 as a result so that particular 9 will be a what will be a integer one so it it won't be 9.0 it won't be uh, 9.53 whatever maybe that what I mean to say is that if I do 8.36 and 8.0 as an input it won't be giving 16.36 as output because on 8.36 is not allowed over here that means this 8.36 is not allowed over here because it is integer 8.0 is also not allowed over here because this is integer and 16.36 as an output is not allowed over here because in return type I have given only integer right so uh, this is what about my return type that is integer uh, what about my function name that is add what about my function uh, parameters that is int x and int y right now uh, we will be taking three variables in our main function that is a comma b comma c right we will be printing a message that enter two numbers okay enter two numbers okay we will be taking uh, the input in a followed by input in b so c equals to add a comma b right c equals to add a comma b we will be uh, printing the result result 
is equals to printing the result is equals to C now what is this line you can understand we are declaring three variables then we are printing a message as C out is our actually output function C in A and B followed by C equals to add a comma B this portion of my program is function call now what is the use of this function call once you give a prior intimation to the compiler that there will be a function with the name called add and I have already implemented or I have uh, created a blueprint rather I have given a structure of the task that this add is going to perform then once I am calling this particular function called add and giving the value in A and B that means the input parameters is A along with this B right so this two input parameter that is A and B inside my function called as add this is known as my function call once I am getting the value in A in A and in B in A and in B and this value is being copied over there and this add once once I'm doing this particular writing this line this is known as my function call my function call actually describes me uh, actually describes me taking the input in a and b and just passing this counter to my function definition right now how function definition is implemented int add int a comma int b this function definition portion that means this portion this portion of the program is being used is used to actually give the blueprint that means what what is the task of add what is the task of add function is going to perform right so this is known as my function my function definition right my function definition okay so in z this is a variable now this z this z is a this z is a local variable right local variable now what is what is actually a local variable what is actually a global variable we will get to know uh, in later part of the program and we will see uh, why this variable is so called as local and why this variable is so called as global and what is the uh, how we can use in a function uh, so we will get to know that so z equals to a plus b a plus b return z so once this is complete we have actually assigned the task that uh, a and b once we get the value in a and b so this value will be put over here and b and then it will compute and it will uh, after computation a plus b it will give into z and this z will return the value now we save this one we save this one in um, function named as function okay it is saving okay now we will execute compile it's a bit slow right now yeah zero error and zero warning you can see over here zero error and zero warning right and we will compute run right so enter two numbers so it uh, let us suppose seven and 8 now result is 15 okay result is 15 now while I'm giving 7 and 8 look 7 is being copied over here 8 is being copied over here and after this uh, function uh, copies this value that is 7 and 8 it transfers is actual calls to this function definition now this 7 is copied over here 8 is copied over here after computation the computation result is being stored in z and z the value of z is written to this and after computation the result 15 is copied to c and we are printing the value resides in c right we are printing the values resides in c as we have seen in our previous program uh, using uh, two integer number now we will be taking two floating point number now the written type of uh, this one is float float at float x float y right 
that means I am actually allowing I am actually allowing this one floating point number as my parameter along with I am allowing the function to produce the result in a floating point okay now let us consider this program okay then execute compile followed by run so 7.25 space 7.25 enter you can see the output result as 14.5 it is actually taking 7.25 over here 7.25 over here and giving the output as 14.5 we are actually changing from in to float over here and this one over here right so this is the basic funda of a function now we will see some error and try to rectify it and we will see the possible cause of this error right the first one and the very foremost one is that x instead of a and b we are giving x and y now see what actually happens okay okay save now listen we are giving x over here we are giving y over here right but over here we have given a and b and what is the error a was not declared in the scope b was not declared in the scope what i mean to say is that whatever digit you are going to give over here that is x and y or a and b you should give that one over here right otherwise it will give you an error that is this alphabet or this alphabet whatever maybe that is a or b or x or y was not declared in the scope right now save this one we have changed execute compile see no error right no error again you can see in our previous program the value is being copied to a and b and we are giving the name of the parameter as x and y it might happen because we are concerned with the value we are not concerned with the name of the variable right we can give also we can give also x instead of x and y we can keep blank over here that means i am intimating the uh, compiler that there will be two there will be two input of floating point number float right this might happen so save the file and then execute right look no error no warning so you can give a you can assign a variable name either x or y or you can give or you can give no name right so this is my second thing now uh, my third and the most crucial and important thing is that my local variable and my global variable now you can see that this z is declared over here within this function called add now if i try to access this z over here that means int or float or whatever maybe z equals to add a comma b save the file compile now z was not declared in this scope what does it mean is that z is declared within this function called add but you are trying to access this z you are trying to access this z outside this function in main okay so this is not allowed that's why this z is local to this function called add this a b and c is local to the function called main right that means any variable declared within a function will be treated as my local variable whereas if i give if i give uh, let us suppose r if i give r and we try to access in main right we try to access in main so let's see what happened look error 0 warning 0 why because this r is declared as a global variable this is treated as a global variable why because you can access this r either in main 
or in add whatever may be because it is not declared or confined within a certain function right within a certain function either in main or in add right so this is this is this is known as my global variable this is known as my global variable okay global variable this is what actually happens in our program and slowly and steadily uh, we have now understood uh, what is the necessity of declaring a local variable a global variable a prototype declaration a function call a function definition and then how it is computed uh, what what do you mean by parameters what do you mean by actually uh, uh, the arguments right how it is computed so on our next video we will get to know what is uh, the scope rules of a function what is actual and formal parameters actual and formal argument right and uh, different programs related to function and we will uh, briefly gather our knowledge uh, regarding recursion